Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're having an awesome day. It is time for another beauty video. This is my favourite type of video, so I'm very excited. Let's not move out the way of the desk because there's a mess on there. So we're just going to cover that up. So guys, today I want to talk to you a little bit about my skin. So, a little bit of background info. I... I haven't ever had really bad skin. It's been like, okay, I get like the odd pimple. I used to have a really pimply forehead, like little tiny little spots, but that cleared up with age. But the last probably year and a half or so, I've had this breakout every so often down on my chin. I don't know, it doesn't matter what I do to my skin, it always happens. But the problem with me is that I'm a popaholic. So as soon as I get one, I like get right up in the mirror and I have to pop every little tiny little thing that's going on on my chin and obviously that doesn't help matters because they all get swollen and all this um, and I end up with really bad acne and if you skip back to my last I think it was video put a little clip in here you can see that my skin is just terrible it's so bad and I've had a couple of people like message me like oh your skin is really bad I've never seen it like that before and I'm like oh, thanks for pointing that out thank you and so obviously I decided I needed to do something about it. So I am part of this, this is like a really rambly story, apologies, but I'm going to tell you the one product that has completely changed my life in a minute. So I went onto this Facebook group I'm part of, um, I can't remember what it's called, I'll link it down below if you do want to join it, but it's really good for kind of advice on beauty, on skincare, like all this, it's really good for advice on that because there's so many different people in there, like someone would have, have, like, have the same issue as you, so you're not alone basically is what I'm trying to say. I've probably gone out off on a tangent. Yes, so I posted in this Facebook group and I basically said, let me find it, apologies for the next day photo, but I need help. Um, I said, my acne on my chin has been so bad recently, pretty much since when I started my new job. I'm putting it down to stress of that because it's never ever been this bad or this painful, which is very true. I started a new job in January and it's been a little bit stressful working with certain people that it's just a bit hard and that did stress me out quite a lot and I put it down for that but I just needed something to help it. I said basically what I'm asking for is what I can help to reduce redness and swelling. These are under the skin spots and are massively painful. And then I put PS I haven't changed anything in my routine so I doubt it's a reaction to anything. So that's the photo I posted. As you can see, it's not a very nice photo. It's kind of disgusting. But that was like no makeup, no nothing. And like so many people were suggesting maybe wearing less makeup, which I would love to be able to do, but I work in makeup, so I have to wear makeup five days a week. And then the other two days, I'm either doing stuff where I'm going outside, so I will wear makeup, or I'm filming videos, again, where I want to wear makeup. So it's hard to not wear makeup. So that wasn't really an option for me. So other things people were suggesting were kind of contraception, um, becoming vegan, which actually I'm not far from being vegan. I've cut out milk and eggs in pretty much entirely. It's just like cheese and actually like looking at stuff that milk is in and eggs are in. But other than that, I'm pretty much vegan. So it couldn't, it couldn't have been down to that. So oh, I was just getting so stressed with like, just it being on my face and it being really ugly and all this so I was just waiting for another suggestion and people were asking about my skincare and stuff like that and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through my skincare and then I'm going to tell you the product that one or two people suggested that has literally changed my life and it will change yours too even if you have one or two little spots or whether you have acne like what I had it will change your life so if you want to if you guys want to see that then do make sure you keep on watching. I've got it right next to me on the camera. So as for my skincare regime, I do have a video on this already, but I'm just gonna recap kind of quickly what I use and what I don't use and stuff like that. So every single morning in the shower, I use my Clinique Sonic brush with some kind of face wash. At the moment, I'm using the Clinique Foaming Cleanser, I think it's called. It's in a little pink tube, which I really, really, really like, but I'm trying to go cruelty free, so once I've finished that, I'm not going to be using that anymore. But yeah, so I use that in the shower every morning. Literally, like, it, it, you press the button and it vibrates for 30 seconds, and that's all you really need, to be honest. So I cleanse and take away all the dead skin. And then when I get out of the shower, I... I don't really tone because I feel like it does dry my skin out a little bit but then I slap on some coconut oil while I'm doing my eye makeup so this bit up here and I'll slap on coconut oil I won't touch my forehead though because my forehead doesn't really do much so I literally just put coconut oil down here in, in my nose across my lips like literally everything so it can sink in while I'm doing my eye makeup that's the morning in the evening I take my makeup off with a wipe 
I know that wipes are quite bad for you, but um, I use it just for kind of convenience. But I always cleanse afterwards, so it's not so bad. But yeah, I take my makeup off with the Johnson's. Let me get them quickly. So the makeup wipes I use are the Johnson's Face Care Makeup Be Gone Pampering Wipes for all skin types in the purple packet. I really like the smell of these, but again, I'm gonna have to find something else that is cruelty free. But those are really nice. Those take everything off, which is really nice. So once I have wiped my face with my makeup wipe, I go ahead and I use the Garnier Micellar Water and I literally just wipe it over my face with like a cotton pad, like the big ones that you can get. And I literally just wipe it all over my face and make sure every bit of my foundation is off my skin. Um, eye makeup, that literally just comes off with my wipe, it's more the actual foundation sitting on my skin I don't like, so I make sure it's all off with this. And then probably about four times a week I will go into the bathroom and wash my face with a scrub as well. I don't like to use the scrub too often because it makes my skin really sore. So literally four times, three, four times a week is usually like maximum as what of what I would do. And that just makes all the dead skin go away sort of thing. So my routine is pretty kind of okay. It's not bad, it's not good, like it's okay. And it's what I've been doing for a little while and my skin has been okay with it, so I just carried on doing it. So that's why I kind of put at the bottom of that post, like I don't think it's a reaction to anything. I just think my skin's just really bad at the moment. And so someone suggested the next product and my life has been changed for the better. You've probably heard of this brand before. Um, it is the Mario Badescu skincare brand. Um, I got my stuff off the of Beauty Bay, which is a UK website, but I don't know whether you can get it in shops or what, I couldn't tell you. But yeah, Beauty Bay sell it if you're from the UK or Europe, so definitely get it on there if you want to get it. One thing I've heard about from kind of beauty bloggers and stuff like that, and one thing was what people suggested to me. So the first thing, which isn't specific for spots, that um, I've heard about from beauty bloggers is that the Mario Badescu, obviously, facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water. This is so refreshing and nice. I don't really know what it's doing with my skin. Let me read it. So it just says, uh, use it to set makeup, soothe your skin in dehydrating conditions or give your skin a quick boost. I literally just kind of, I spray this after I cleanse before my coconut oil in the morning. So I literally just spray, spray, spray. I'm gonna put a little bit on now. That's really nice and hydrating on the skin. It just feels so cooling and nice. And that's just, yeah just nice and then the second thing is what actually was suggested to me for spots and as soon as I typed it into Google um, like so many results came up so it must be a talked about product and then I mentioned it at work as well and everyone's like oh my god yeah there's amazing stuff so it must be love and this is the Mario Badescu it's the drying lotion basically and it's got a little bit mixed up where I chucked it on the bed so I hope that's gonna be okay because it spe says specifically do not shake solution so it's this little tiny bottle this bottle was 16 pounds which I thought ooh, that's quite pricey but actually the amount you use on your face is nothing so 16 pounds is okay it has like pink powder stuff at the bottom and then at the top it has like this liquid I think I don't, I don't really know what what the deal is with it but you should just get a little cotton bud Go right to the bottom and get the pink stuff, pull it out and then dab it on your spot and instantly it kind of tingles, um, it kind of, it doesn't burn, I wouldn't say it burns but it, it, you can feel it all tightening up and basically drying your spots up and honestly the difference that I've seen over two days, I got this, so it's, what day is it today? It's Friday today and I got this on Wednesday, so I used it Wednesday and Thursday night and the difference already is incredible. Like I'll put two photos side by side, wherever, I'll put them somewhere. And it doesn't look like a big difference, but to me, someone who's actually suffering with the acne, it is such a huge difference. And they're not as painful, they're literally, I, like I can't feel them at all. Like all those little red, that redness before was so sore to touch. And the one on my lip here is almost gone now, which is amazing. And so yeah, guys, that is the product that has changed my life. Mm. It's so, so good, and it smells really, I don't even know what it smells like. It smells disgusting. I just wanna thank people who has recommended that to me. So yeah guys, that is the end of this week's video. I, I try to gauge what kind of content you guys actually want, whether you guys want more tutorials, whether you want more reviews, like on the beauty side I mean, whether you want stuff like this, please just give me a shout in the comments because I have no idea what content you guys wanna see. I wanna still create content, obviously, but I don't know what you guys want to see so just sound off in the comments down below let me know what you want to see that'd be great very helpful thank you in advance 
If you guys did enjoy the video, then do click that like button down below. That would really help me out and make me a very happy little bean. If you guys have used any of the Mario Badescu range, whether it's the drying lotion, whether it's the spray or anything else you can recommend to me, do just sound off in the comments because now I've tried those two, I want to try more but I don't know what to get and I've heard that some things are just a bit myth. so I'd like to know your opinions and basically your recommendations, that'd be good. If you guys did enjoy this video and enjoy this kind of content then do click that subscribe button down below or in the corner down over here. I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers. Let me see how many I've got right now. 928. So I need another 72. So yeah, if you guys want to help me out, then do click that subscribe button down below and get me to a thousand, please. That'd be really great. Thanks. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. That is literally it for this video. And hopefully I will see you in the next one. Fingers crossed. Come back. I'm needy for attention. <laughs> please come back. Bye.